Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I have gone ahead and moved the power gen into this room and it is quite a, a tight squeeze in here. Um, but uh, yeah, so here's my boiler. Boiler's running. Steam turbine is running. My gas turbine I don't have running because I don't really need it at the moment. And then I have my combustion engine. And then obviously can turn on if I want to put some oxygen here, which I don't really need that at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll turn that on if needed at some point. So yeah, I am currently moving over my distillation tower. Uh, just trying to figure out how I want to get it connected and where I want to put the um, where I want to put the power because obviously it's not going to be an MV over here. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to just do EV. That would probably be the easiest. Or do I want to like there's EV coming out there. Um, that is going to the clean room. So as we can see, the clean room is kind of over there. Yeah, so I have the IV coming out into here, the transformer, and then I have that down to EV. So I think um, you can kind of see the two holes I have over there. Um, probably the easiest just to do EV. I think the problem is, is that going to go through oil too fast? <laughs> I'm stuck. But I mean, I guess I don't need to have it constantly. I mean, it can go through the oil, and then I can just have it turned off for a while, and then have it turned back on. I could even do redstone and stuff with that, but I'm pretty bad about redstone. All right, so I think I've just convinced myself I'll do EV for both of these. Um, and I would like to get that kind of set up sooner than later here, because that is a major power source, so I need to get this kind of up running again. All right, so let me cut here, and uh, we'll come back. Okay, so I've gone and set up my distillation tower. I haven't moved this yet. Um, I just kind of wanted to make sure everything was working with the distillation tower. And as we can see, it's actually going up pretty fast with the EV uh, energy hatch. So I was doing, um, it was MV, but now it is EV. So it is definitely going up pretty fast, but as we can see, it's actually dropping really fast too. So, yeah, that, well, I wanna upgrade this anyway. This is definitely something I wanna get upgraded. And uh, I've noticed <laughs> I'm running a little bit of, uh, um, I'm getting power, but, uh, the, I'm having a bit of an issue here, and I think it's because I'm only outputting one amp. So these two transformers are fighting over it. So if I'm like doing something over this way that needs a lot of amps, then it stops the amps going there, and that shuts off the stuff on this side. Like if I, I don't know, like if I start up my blast furnace, I have a feeling this is going to turn off. And uh, the reason I think that is because my clean room keeps turning off. And I think that's because it's fighting over that one amp. Um, so I think I should probably just go ahead and upgrade that. I think that would probably be the easiest. And then the platinum cables, I would have to upgrade just a bit, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, because they can only carry two amps. But like if I did four, I mean, these even require the same amount of silicon to cover the cables. So that's not an issue. I mean, how many would I need? One, two. About 20-ish. So, I mean, that's not the end of the world, but it is a bit of a pain. Because I don't have silicon automated yet. Um, yeah, it seems to be, that works 
fine. It just uh, depends how much oil. I mean, I'm not going to be able to run it 24-7, I don't think, until I upgrade my oil rig. Well, I mean, I can turn it on. See, this is... If I turn this on, is that going to fight over the power? I have no idea. It looks like it's running okay, but that is definitely going to be an issue. And it's also an issue... Um, I need to get kind of this sorted out. This is still a bit of a problem. I'm running too much stuff off four batteries. So uh, it's... Uh, yeah. I could increase this, but again, I would have to increase these cables. And I don't want to quite do that yet because this is not how I want to keep this whole set up here. But this seems to be... I think this is running okay. Yeah, there it goes. So this is keeping up. I feel like it's almost... Yeah, no, it's keeping up pretty well. Anyway. Is that going up or down, or what's it doing? It's... Alright, so it looks like it's almost even, but is the more that drains, the... Like... <laughs> The more the oil field drains, like, the less that's going to work. So what are we down to? 315. So I definitely want to get that upgraded. Um, but yeah, I didn't pull the things over. I just don't think there's a need. Although I am kind of voiding sulfuric gas. Maybe I should throw that... Um, I'm just kind of voiding this. Yeah, I should probably just throw a tank on there. And then if I need it at some point, I can always, I'll have a backup. All right, anyway, just wanted to show that. I'll probably move over uh, this. Uh, I may just leave it for a second until I can get this dynamo upgraded. How am I gonna do? That should I try the should I just do dynamo? I think that's yeah, so if I do this, should I try this one? I mean that's pretty easy to upgrade or or is the other one or with the buffer that's pretty easy to upgrade too. Uh, I kind of want to try this one. I don't need a buffer in it, really. So two tungsten steel. Eight. No. Four tungsten. I think I have all this. And then one silver in the EV. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. So let me get this stuff and we'll replace that and see what happens. All right, I've gone ahead and got the stuff that I need here. Apparently my thing ran out of power. Probably from breaking down all those multi-blocks. Right, I think that'll be enough. Just need to get this up because everything's turned off. Um, I need molten silver. And we'll just throw it in this assembler, I think. This does go in an assembly machine, right? Yeah, assembler. All right, so IV Dynamatch, Tungsten Wire. All right, and that's actually pretty quick, so. 
And that's an issue because it just went in the A system. No, it didn't. All right, I was like, oh, that made me nervous. I'm like, how am I gonna get that out if I have no power? All right, so that did form. I was a little worried that for some reason it wouldn't. All right, so there is a four amp dynamo and then Who I have? No, that's fine. Yeah. The A system is on. Because I left my platinum wires in there. That also could be bad, but thankfully I have connected the A system directly to the, um, the battery. All right, and I have done a backup just in case. I don't see why there would be an issue here. These can both take four amps, can it? No, this will only pull one amp, so I don't think it's going to explode. No. It's not going to push more than it can handle. Wow, it was exactly 20. I just kind of guessed when I, I originally counted. Okay, so there we go. That should be good now. Yeah, so this is probably running the one amp over here, and then we'll, uh, when I turn the other stuff on, it'll probably pull from the other ones, I'm assuming. This is a bit too green, which is a little darker, but yeah, it works. All right, so now it's not even pulling an amp from there. Let's uh, let's turn this on. And uh, let's turn on my Need room. This is probably off. Yep. See that turned off when I ran the last furnace. So I, I think we're good now. Let's see. I'm gonna need a bunch of tungsten steel. I think. Why don't I just do like a hundred? Ooh, I don't have enough steel. Gonna have to make some more of that. Actually, why don't I just go ahead and throw some iron dust in there and make some steel. And then we'll see if that's, this causes an issue. Should turn on. Yep, there it goes. You don't have any wires burning. Curious how many amps are coming out here. One amp. I wonder if it's because, yeah, it's still running. Um, probably because it's not using enough power, I'm guessing, uh, to pull an amp con continuously. So when I clicked on it, it wasn't sending an amp through there. Um, but every whatever ticks that it's going to need to fill this back up, like it, the way they. They work. I believe they're draining this of power. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking they're draining it from power, and when it gets low enough to get 180 or 8100 or whatever, it'll pull an amp. So it's not going to say it's pulling continuously, is kind of my guess. Or is this. Yeah, it looks like it's. It's not pulling a continuous amp, because I'm not using a full amp, apparent, I'm guessing. Yeah, that makes sense, because the blast furnace is probably off by now. So, like, the whatever I have running will, yeah, so it, like, pulled the one amp because the batteries had enough room, or whatever, this had enough room. Um, all right, 
And that's what was, they were competing. So like when that pulled an amp, if this was pulling an amp at the same time, it would turn off those machines because it didn't get enough. But anyway, I think that is, we are uh, set up here. So I like those, I like these, uh, these um, hatches. I'm not a huge fan of the buffer. It just felt kind of unneeded in the, um, when this is a huge buffer itself. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me cut here and uh, we will come back. All right, so another kind of issue has cropped up. I was curious why I didn't seem to be gaining any power. And this is actually pulling 1500 uh, EU per tick. So that is, that's a bit much for what I'm generating right now. Um, I can run it, but I probably need to upgrade this. I mean, I can, I have this turned off because it's burning through oxygen and burning through fuel uh, kind of faster than I would like at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out if I want it to actually run that fast. I can always just replace it with an HV patch and um pretty sure there's a transformer around here somewhere oh there's another hv energy energy hatch in there oh maybe i don't have an hv chance it's probably oh i probably used it for the other thing down there um but i may end up just switching it back because we're like right on Yeah, I'm I'm dripping a drooping a little bit. Dropping, not drooping. Alright, so that uses a bit more than I uh had planned, actually. Alright, I have gone ahead and replaced the patches with HV. Both of these are on HV and I ran a um it's probably hard to show, but uh I ran a transformer out there, so just going to transform and then the other one goes uh, that way. So there's four amps of HV going there. Um, and that running, I think, is much better because if we look, uh, 380, 384 is a little more doable at this stage. Um, obviously, I could increase the the power gen that I'm making and I'm going to um, but for now just wanted to get this all set up um, so there we go those are filling up um, unfortunately I probably should have made this room one more wider just so I could fit in here a little bit better but I don't really need to get in there um, and then I just have two output hatches one for the hydrogen sulfide and one for the thing and uh I'll put into the fluid interface is just it's almost instant um instead of having like a storage bus or an input bus that's import bus that's why i did a fluids interface anyway i have been kind of looking at what i want to do here um and this place is starting to look pretty good obviously i'm going to continue to uh, rearrange a lot of this stuff uh, but i will do that in between episodes but uh one of the Things. One of the goals for IV age is one. I need to get all this processing uh, taken care of, but I will look into that. But the other kind of main goal for the IV age is to craft this assembly line. That's what opens up all the LUV, the next tier. Um. So if we find all the yeah, like here. So like the LV, LUV motor needs a scanner, you put it in a scanner, you scan this electric motor, and then it'll give you the recipe for the assembly line. So to progress at all, we need to get the assembly line. I think it's assembly. Yeah. Assembly in line. Um, and this is a rather large multi-block, um, but if we look at the recipe, we're actually kind of like right here with the components. So like IV machine hull, I can do robot arms. I've crafted the IV circuits, not too bad. 
This is a little <laughs> kind of crazy if we look at this, though. Um, so what do we got here? So one LUV and three ZPM tiers. Now, if I was to do... Wow, that's like really expensive, actually. I didn't realize how expensive those were. We need a lot of these. Wow, that's really expensive. All right, so if we're looking at this, the... Yeah, we're like nowhere near this. Um, but anyway, the, we need, apparently we're going to need ZPM tier. So we're going to have to use these quantum mainframes. Holy cow, is that going to be insanely expensive for this assembly line? I didn't realize how expensive this is because you need a lot of those assembly line things. Right, assembly line. I'm pretty sure the middle thing is the assembly line casings, or maybe not. Machine, maybe I only need four of those. I don't know. Um, but basically, we need to upgrade our circuits is kind of what I was going with. So we're currently doing the nano circuits. If we pull up nano, um, we have the HV, EV, IV, and then... Uh, LUV tier, and I think I want to kind of progress towards the quantum line, which is the next one. So the base uh, quantum circuit will be EV tier. So I will finally be able to make these um, without having to do like the assemblers, the nano like assembler. Yeah. So that's kind of what I think I'm going to I need to progress towards first. So if we look at this and there it may actually be I have a feeling there there is a quest line um from the circuits. I know it's over here somewhere. I don't I'm assuming it must be through this. Um if we take a look at the circuit assembler, which is kind of what we need to upgrade. So this so we're going to need the emitters. So yeah, we need the quantum nether stars. So that's probably going to be the first thing that we need to do. So I need uh, one nether star. Does this, this says two. It wants me to craft two nether stars. Um, all right. So we do have enough radon. I've been kind of producing that uh, permanently. Although let me, all right, I do have my hazmat suit on. Really quick, let's get a stack of this to throw back in that thing down here, just to keep producing right on. Uh, which one are you? I go in there. All right, so we'll get that going again. All right, so another star. Yes, I have one another star. I can probably make some more, but I need to craft some Salus Mundus. Yeah, I have enough. I can make two. So we'll make two from that. Um, so let me get the stuff that we need. I remember it's a... I'll need a stack of cobble, a stack of... Dude, this isn't too bad. Stack of cobble, a stack of sugarcane, and half a stack of... Oh, or I can even do uh, 16 of those. All right, so let's get these nether stars and we'll craft up these quantum stars uh, next. All right, we got the uh, Salus Mundus. I really need to get those bees, but they're so far down the line. Uh, I am trying to get the... Yeah, what it's... are we this one so i am trying to get i forget which one it is one of the ones way down here
it basically starts out like the, the chain eldritch that's what i'm trying to get um but as we can see it's quite a long way to go um but uh yeah anyway so there should be our nether stars yep and then we need the radon probably need empty cells because the fluid cells don't work for the quests yep there we go and hv chemical bath i already have some in there actually but these do require a whole thing of it so Ooh, how long does that take? That looks like a long recipe. Yep, 96 seconds. All right, there is the quantum stars. Oh, radium. I've got to be careful with that. I even... Oh, I do have my thing on. All right, so... Yeah, don't accept that, because you will start taking damage. Unless you're wearing your hazmat suit. I wish you could shift click in to this box. It probably does that on purpose. Alright, so yeah, as I figured, we're gonna need these. Do I need the sensor for anything? See, this, I hate these quests because it makes you craft stuff that I don't need at the moment. Like a scanner, like, I don't know why I would. I mean, I guess it made me craft these. Eh, this isn't that bad. I have the iridium, I have tungsten steel. Might as well just craft this stuff and get it over with. I probably will need it at some point. And there is the emitter. It actually wasn't bad at all. Um, kind of need more. Well, I'll get both of them actually. I always miss that when it's both. Put those in there. What do we got? All right, so the circuit assembler. That's what I figured was going to be next. So there is the. Is that always there? Maybe it was. Um, so here we go. The advanced circuit assembly machine. We need the emitter, which we just got, conveyors, robot arm, and these LUV circuits. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, let's throw those back in there. Uh, the, yeah, we need, is it two of these? Ooh, aluminum frames. Those are easy to make, and gold. Gold is definitely turning into a bit of an issue. Um, so I need to find a way. I'm basically kind of turning glowstone into gold as it, uh, when I remember, but it's not the fastest of things. So I think maybe I should kind of like set up an automated thing. So like the glow flowers into an extractor and maybe into the centrifuge or something like that, or at least get these automated. Uh, in an extractor, I think. All right, but let me craft up this stuff for the circuit assembler. This is probably going to take a little bit of time. Do I have enough? May just have enough silicon, hopefully. All right, so I just wanted to show this. I had 10 loot bags that I had collected from IV, and this is what I ended up getting. And the reason I wanted to show it is because I got an industrial apiary, but Look at this, I got eight nanoprocessor mainframes uh, from that. So, so there is some really good stuff in the loot bags. It just feels like a lot of the time I get horrible things like clay buckets and three torches. Like that just doesn't, well, I probably got more torches than that, but I wish I was recording when I opened those because uh, I wasn't expecting that. I think I got everything ready for this. Oh, that needs a second one. 
Let's forget that's two. I don't have this set up, obviously. I really need to get this automated as well. So many things to do. So little time. Here's the IV machine hall. Robot arm. And there is the advanced circuit assembly machine. Let me just double check. Yep, that's all we need. And there we go. <laughs> Those things from that loot bag just helped so much. Just saved a lot of time and resources. So there is the advanced circuit assembly machine. Definitely going to take those. And these are, ah, right. I forgot about this part. Borax can be extracted out of salt, electrolyze it, and mix it with glass dust. Do I have, I know I have boron. Do I have borax? I do have borax. And boron with glass dust. That I don't have. So 23, it's four, oh, water. That's a bit annoying. I hate the water ones. Will that work in there? No, I need to add. What do I need to add? Yeah, empty cells. I figured there was probably something else we had to add. All right, so that is enough for, is there, are the water cells, is it making water cells? <laughs> Yeah, I was making these. I gotta empty these out. All right, so boron and glass dust. Glass is pretty easy to make now. Um, we just need sand in the arc furnace, and then we just throw this back in the pulverizer, and that will get us glass dust. We need 56 of that. I seem to remember this makes a lot. I don't know what I just got credit for. We'll just throw, I guess, that in. Luckily, that's pretty fast. What do I need? 56. All right, and then this gets mixed, I'm assuming. I can't actually just do that in a, yeah, I can do it in a mixer if I want, or I can just do it in a, uh, I can just do it in a crafting grid because you don't get any bonus from doing that. Anyway, so there is the orosilicate. Does that just get, I don't know, does that get smelted up? And do we just smelt this? How is this smelted? All right, so sweet, just a regular uh, smelting machine. Let me come back and when we get these glass fibers, we'll complete that quest. All right, so I set up a thing with that. So let's, the 48, I think I have enough for. Yep. Maybe not. That seems, yeah. It's not using all the things. That's a bit weird. All right, but there we go. Uh, I put it in the extruder. 
Did that not use all of it? No, it didn't use... It only used half. So that... <laughs> this recipe gets you 512 glass fiber. Alright. Throw that in there. So that opened up this. The reinforced... Oh, I'm... It's going to take me a while to get that much. I don't think I have... No, I only have 28. Alright, and I gotta set up this thing. I keep doing it manually and it's such a pain. I just haven't got around to setting this all up. Just because it's so many channels trying to get the epoxid uh, set up. So I haven't done that yet. But I think now, I guess, is like a great time to do that. And I'll get the iron chloride set up as well, I think. Maybe not on that one. Maybe I'll put it on this one. It has more room. I'll just have this one set completely for this. All right, but there is the advanced circuit assembler. We're working on the next tier of circuit boards. So the fiber reinforced, not fiber, fiber, is the next circuit board. So we'll get the epoxy resin sheets, and then you combine it with the copper, sulfuric acid, and then you get the better circuit boards, and then we can finally uh, combine that with some more copper. That's quite a lot of copper here to get the uh, more advanced circuit boards and then we can get the quantum processes out of that. Now we have the nano components. I don't know if we have this yet. No, we don't have this yet. All right. Do we? I feel like I... Did that at some point. Nope. I guess not. Alright, but we'll have to do that next episode because now it is wrapping up point. So thanks for watching and have a good one.